Okay, this is for the Corona Milk clone. This is the cheap $20 one. One upgrade, I don't know if you can see it. I used a rubber bushing, uh, yeah, bushing. Some people use uh, metal washers and it goes right in there, about a four millimeter. Another mod is where these two pieces here go is uh, I, I use some uh, epoxy. The little cotter pin, you want to replace that with a nut and bolt. That's pretty much the upgrades that I've done. And if you do buy the, the mill, get the one that's got the little shield that goes across here. Because when you're grinding, some of the grains and the dust comes flying out. What I did, I just took a simple, hard to do this with one hand, but I use a magnetic magnet to hold it in place. And again, it's not easy to hold it. But you put it on. It's kind of like that. It holds it in place, and the green falls through the uh, through the pant leg into the bucket. You don't lose any of it. The dust doesn't go flying around. And there's a little magnet, and that holds the uh, the Levite material on. It keeps it from uh, going everywhere. And that's the Corona Milk clone. Clone can't speak English well. It does a pretty good job when you're placed in order and the the grain arrives and it's not milled, this comes in handy. And it saves you a lot of money. I'm estimating a bottle of beer is like 60 cents each compared to uh, when you buy the grain uh, uh, in bulk. But if you buy it uh, by the pound, you're going to pay around a dollar, dollar fifty a bottle. So I recommend the clone. It does a pretty good job.